Just coming through here, got a, uh, well, it was about a 50s signal, and I pulled out this old piece of lead. Pretty sure that's out of one of the pin fired shells that I found here. We'll keep on looking. Well, guys, I'm coming through here, and I get this 75 signal on, and it was just standing on 75, and out pops this. I don't know if that's some kind of earring or what. Hmm. Let me get two hands on it and get this thing cleaned up. See if we can figure out what this is. I thought at first it might have been an old pin, but that back on it's throwing me off. Let me get two hands on it. We'll look at it again. Hang tight. Well, guys, there it is cleaned up the best I could out here. I'm pretty sure that's silver. I mean, it's got plenty of weight to it. But I'm not sure if it goes on a saddle as a decoration or if this might be at the top collar of a, uh, a lady's shirt. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. Appreciate you looking. Well, guys, I get another 70 right here, and I pull out a half of a horseshoe. Only half. But it's an oldie. Also, guys, when we're here, um, Detector Warehouse sent me out this Dragon Digger, and also sent me out a bag. So uh, after this giveaway that I'm going to announce the winner to at the end of this video, uh, we're going to be having another giveaway. Uh, we're going to give one of these uh, dragon diggers and a 53-inch extra-large camo bag for your metal detector. We're going to be giving one of those away, a couple minutes of Detector Warehouse. Uh, they're going to send it straight to your house. So, uh, yeah. It's about time for another giveaway, but let's get this one behind us that we got going on now, uh, and we'll do that. But thanks, Detector Warehouse. I appreciate the digging tool. It's been great so far, and I just dug that with it. All right, guys, let's keep digging. I have people ask me sometimes, what is my go-to settings on my AT Pro? And uh, I tell them it's Pro Zero. Um, I run my detector wide open pretty much. Pro Zero. I'm out here in the woods, so I'll turn my iron to about 15. I want to hear a little bit of iron. I want to know where there was people in the woods. So uh, I'll run it from anywhere from 12 to 15 in the woods. Uh, if I'm not getting a lot of signals, I'll turn it on down to 12. And um, I do that to get more signals sometimes under the iron there'll be a piece of brass piece of silver piece of gold who knows and the iron being on top will mask that but if you're hearing that little squeak of that good sound uh it's best to go ahead and dig it out up so like you know like most people with a pro tells you they dig any repeatable signal and uh i try to stay like from 30 up but i have dug in the 20s uh just looking for that gold but uh yeah i'll show you right here on my detector how i set it up 
and uh, this is how I run my detector the majority of the time. I mess with the iron a little bit, but pretty much on this set, uh, Pro Zero. Oh. Well, I'm sorry about the light. I'm out here in the woods, but I, I got it at Pro Zero, iron on 15. My sensitivity, sensitivity is all the way up, and I do that because I want to go as deep as possible. When you go to mucking around with the sensitivity and you backing it up, you're getting a little bit shallower. You're losing depth. So I always try to run that wide open, and I myself, I never notch anything out. Uh... I've never, I don't think I've ever notched a signal out. And it's just because you never know what it is in the hole. I'm not going to lose anything, so I'm digging it all. So I don't never notch anything out. But, yep, Pro Zero, iron in the woods on 15. If I'm at a house place, I might go up to 21, 22 right there. Uh, that's it. That's my little tip of the week for y'all Pro users. Well, guys, we got some more old lead. I could hear some iron down there, and this was mixed in with that iron signal, but I dug it out. It's an oldie, too. Probably a little 32 or something like that. Maybe a 25, 32, I don't know. A small caliber pistol. Very cool. We'll keep on digging. Well, guys, I got a 60. I mean, it's standing right on 60 right there. I'm not sure what it is yet, but I thought we'll find out together. <clears throat> Shotgun head stamp. Man, I was hoping that was going to be a good old V-nickel. They usually run in about a 57 to a 60 here. With this dirt. That's the V nickel. That is. And this also runs a 57 to a 60. So. Yep. Well, throw it down. But yeah. That was that. Next hole. Well guys. I just dug this piece of lead. That is straight up. Period. I would think that's at least. Civil War era. Very cool. Definitely came from a cartridge, brass cartridge, but a very old round. Found it right here at this drop off. Yep, right here where my foot is. Very cool. Piece of lead. Bam. I just now dug up this uh, piece. I'm not sure if this is a piece to an old, like a Model T car or maybe some kind of a clip. But it's got two little holes right there at the bottom. It's got like little insert brads in it. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one, but there it is, still the same. Alright, let's keep on going. Man, it's nuts out here. Well, guys, 
I got screwed on that one. That's the way it goes. Well, guys, there's the other half of my horseshoe. All right, we'll keep on digging. Well, guys, I have no idea what this is. It's made of iron. It's got a uh, some square bolts in it. <clears throat> yeah, square bolts. So it's got some real age to it. I don't know what in the world it is. Like a little tripod. No clue. But we'll keep on looking. Just now popped out this uh, iron buckle, I guess, some horse tack. All right. Next hole. Well, guys, it ended up getting late on me, but we still got to find a new home for that 1922 piece dollar and the Alabama Dirt Digger t-shirt. But before we do, I want to say thank you to each and every one of y'all that subscribes to my channel and watches my videos. It means the world to me. I appreciate y'all. Uh, without y'all, I wouldn't have this channel. It wouldn't be near as fun. But with no further ado, let's get to it. Well, guys, this is what you're going to win. You're going to get an Alabama Dirt Digger t-shirt. That 1922 piece dollar. And it is a beaut. And, of course, some Alabama Dirt Digger stickers. But uh, we're just going to use a random comment picker. Let's see if I can get y'all in there. And uh, let's pick a winner. Three, two, one. Kayak fishing nerd. Uh, congratulations. It's a nice, now let's see here. It's nice to watch a, I think it's supposed to be a local make some good finds. Maybe we can meet up sometimes. The gold camp is in my backyard. Wow, so I might actually be able to see this person. Uh, so I really appreciate y'all watching. Congratulations, kayak fishing nerd. I appreciate it. Um, God bless. Happy hunting. Congratulations, kayak fishing nerd. I know you'll love the coin. It's a beautiful coin. I hope you enjoy the shirt. Uh, I hope to get to meet you. You live close to the gold camp. I'm always there, so we'll have to definitely get together. Uh, you got three days. To give me an email it'll be in the description and I'll probably put it like right there too that's my email you got three days to uh, email me your address and I'll ship this out to you or better yet maybe we can meet up and I'll give it to you in person and we can do some digging but I appreciate every one of my subscribers thank y'all again y'all mean the world to me God bless happy hunting and I'll see you on the next hole